Hello everybody, I'm your Rabbit. We are back here for another episode here on Set of Corsa. I want to apologize initially for the first lack of content recently. I've been moving into my new house and trying to get my new streaming slash recording studio set up. So we are on a temporary setup right now with just my uh, PC and a monitor and all that stuff. We're going through some old clips of when I was rocking an RTR at ESDA Long Beach running some tandems, but I want to once again apologize for the lack of content recently. I've been moving and things have been a little bit hectic, but we got the PC here now and set up with the new internet and everything. So we're going to be bringing you guys content, going to be doing some interesting things without having my wheels set up here with, you know, drifting in a set of course on a controller as well as controller versus wheel and some other things here and going through some old tandem clips and stuff like that. I sent that way too hard on that one. So, like I said, this is just some tandem clips from an open lobby that we were in on a set of Corsa in the RTR Mustang of Adam LZ. So, we're going to be digressing some of the runs in here like that. So, make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all found description box below. Let's get to it. So, I believe this run, I think I go full send into him. I got a little bit of glitch there. Oh, no, I didn't go full send. So, we did clip that inner clip. We did suck back up to his door, crossing through the smoke line that uh, Mazda R9 and CS wheel looking pretty sweet. Spinning up there. Oh, a little wall tap. Give him a little love to get him through the final zone. I was thinking when I was running this, should I have been running an RTR and ESDA? Because I was definitely getting down with this RTR Mustang here on ESDA Long Beach. So unfortunately, I am going to be missing Long Beach, or missing round two of ESDA with not having my internet and everything set up and no time to practice. So I have to forego round two of ESDA, unfortunately, without, you know, with the moving and everything into the new house and everything like that kind of got a little bit busy but like i said gonna be coming hard into round three so big changes coming here on the channel with new content that was a nice deep dive nice and deep there there we go I'm trying to think oh oh that was pretty good there i can see the red arrow whoever's chasing me is kind of right on top of me oh it was the e92 little bump going in the final zone kind of throwing me a little bit off but we were there so, like I said, some big changes coming with some new perspectives on the next level chassis and everything like that. Going to be doing some different camera angles and things like that with the new style setup with the chassis next to the desk and everything like that. New monitor and things going on the sim rig for an ultra wide. So, we're going to be running a lot more in first person, more aspect and area to run a VR. So, we'll be doing more VR content and stuff like that as well here. Definitely uh, super excited to get into the new house and set up the new location for my streaming and recording and setup and stuff like that. So more open uh, box openings, product reviews, things like that. I'll be able to do a lot nicer and cleaner in the new style area. So we're going to take a look at what this next run is. We're going to get a full like FD style digression. I think we are in a chase. I'm not sure what we do. It looks like we're going against another RTR though in the moment I was having a lot of fun with this so it looks like we were going RTR to RTR we're about a car length back initiation in we sucked up to his door kind of right there on the clip right in the wall cutting through his smoke line and getting right on the door of that other RTR a little bobble and I think I may have bumped him I'm not entirely sure I think I may have got a little bit too aggressive in that section I did because I did message my bad to that man so I got a little too aggressive in that outer zone three and it's just a little bit too much in the sauce but that happens when you're getting solid doors I believe I was on this lobby for a good 20 minutes you guys caught a little tease of one of the tandem runs I was running um, on the channel on the short so let's digress this lead run here see what we're looking at hard flick initiation high angle bumper right there probably could have got a little bit deeper there a little bit sloppy there and got all the way out but not how I want it to be that man following me right in he said he was new to driving in this server and stuff like that so he was definitely thrown down for being a newer guy he said he didn't want to hit anybody i believe and he was uh he was throwing on doors so it's great to see somebody throwing doors when they're just getting into it and man in that uh yaris was just i'm gonna go full send so i believe we get to go chase that man here this time yep we do we'll get to chase that link ecus 14.5 or I believe it's just an S14 and 
it might just be an S14. I can't remember. No, that's not a 0.5. That's just the James Dean S14. So cutting through the smoke line was definitely very hard. And I was finding myself getting really blinded, trying to stay a little bit back, but we were throwing it in there. I realized having the downshift in second gear and rev bang was my best option on this track. And like I said, having a lot of fun. So we're just taking a look at these runs. I had a little bit of fun before I tore the setup down to move into the new house. So uh, I think, I think, uh, I think this man, I think I remember this. I think he full sends it in the turn one and goes straight into the tire barriers because he is hauling. And I was like, there's no way he's making that. Yep, full send, Devo. He's in, I'm a head out. But running this Mustang like it was no problem. That R9 definitely feeling super smooth and super aggressive in this Mustang. Ooh, getting a little bit flirtatious with that wall. So I was just running back to back to back to back runs trying to uh, just get some tandems um, after everything so let's see where we're at see if we can't find a good uh i believe that might have been a good chase so we're gonna take a look at this chase run e92 euro fighter in front of us falcon tire livery a little hesitant and he kind of cut that which threw me a little off and then we kind of sucked back in and we we're able to pull back in on the door a little bit about half a car length cut through the smoke line down in second he overshot that and i believe yep hit the wall and sent it a little bit too far. Full send on this. So great initiation would have taken out that cone deep in that zone though. And deep in that one holding almost max angle. I bet you we would have been scraping wall with that one. Quick tr flick transition right perfect on that zone. Just a little wall scrape at the end. You can see the wheel do a little bit of a fluctuation at the end with the wall scrape. Wasn't too major, wasn't too aggressive, but it was just there. So let's see where we're at. We gotta take a look. Uh, full initiation behind him. Went a little shallower on him, but kind of getting lost in the smoke, but able to cut in his door. A little bit too much braking and uh, kind of threw myself back a little bit, but overall aggressive run. He kind of bogged out there, so we would have uh, taken that chase run. This man was initiating so quickly that I was trying to uh, get closer and closer every initiation I could. Oh, and he went sent into the wall and I kind of wall tapped there because I was following his line a little bit. Oh, I think this was a pretty nice three man we did. I kind of laxed back a little bit and didn't want to get too aggressive in there, but we kind of uh, threw in a nice little three man on Long Beach. As you can see that uh, chaser up front, S14 and me, I'm getting bathed in smoke, cannot see where I'm going, but I managed to make it a little bit clean and managed to come out pretty well. So overall, that was not too bad being bathed in the smoke the way I was. Let's see where we are. Oh, this chase run, I believe this was probably my best, one of my best chase runs against this guy. We were pretty much running back to back a couple times. I was throwing it in, really aggressive on transition bathed in smoke but right there on this man's door in that chaser that royal purple rain x synthetic oil car yep we uh definitely uh yeah do a little life flash on that one that was probably one of the uh better chase runs i had it's hard to find sometimes getting good chase runs with some of the random lobbies and stuff you get into because you don't know what the driver's gonna do but that's just like competing in competitions you have no idea what the driver is going to do in front of you unless you drive with them all the time so i believe he stuck to my door on this banging in the third quick flick initiation a little faint would have kind of punted that a little waver going in there not too too bad throwing it almost max angle out right up on the wall little wall tap and then a flick over and on the barrier he said i'm here a little door tap at the end of that run so him and I were going back to back to back, couple runs at a time, having a lot of fun. So like I said, we're going to be bringing back the content, going to be doing some different content because you know what? I see a lot of people drifting on a Santa Corsa with controller. I'm game to give it a try. And since I do not have the setup here currently, going to be doing some controller drifting. Going to be probably getting Nate on here, going to be doing wheel versus controller tandems. 
and doing some other fun things, bringing back Torque Drift to the channel and things like that. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media knowledge found in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, I do apologize for like content recently was moving. We were sucking on the door of that yard. So I was moving into the new location, trying to get the streaming room and everything fully set up. If you guys have followed me on Instagram, you guys have probably seen some of the progression and things like that. So the room is getting fully repainted and redone and everything like that so I can get everything set up. And of course, I'll be taking my time getting it all set up with cable management and things like that. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media if you guys want to keep up to date with the updates of the new setup that I'm going to be setting up. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.